All right, so the question is how to create a responsive repeater. So this is really simple. What we have here is we already have our repeater out in the desktop version. And what we're going to do is showcase to you the settings in which you can use to make the repeater responsive as need be. So <clears throat> what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to scale this just a little bit. We're going to stick with the three cards for now. And we are going to center this puppy both horizontally and vertically in our container that we have. Now what we want to do, let's just pretend for right now, you know, we want this to essentially, uh, we want this as we cascade down into our different breakpoints we want to still have a good view of let's pretend we have an image inside here so let's just go ahead and add those images very quickly quick add we're gonna go ahead and image to these and let's just say we're gonna pop these in boom so we just want to keep the really good um, we just want to have the image here and basically be in good view. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to just go to tablet for right now and we don't have as much space. So let's pop open our inspector here really quick and let's just make sure that we are selecting our repeater so we get those element items that we can edit. So so far let's take a look at these settings. We have horizontal margin which is basically we can see we have no space in between each item. So I want to set this to pixels for right now and we'll set this to 10 pixels so we get some of that space back. And another thing I will do is I want to center the repeater again. As you can see, there's more space over to the left than there is the right. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's centered both, again, vertically and horizontally in my container. Now, let's say, you know, hmm, you know, this looks OK for, uh, you know, for right now. But let's say I want to give each image basically its own space in horizontal horizontally uh, give it more space. So what I can do is I can go right here. I'm going to go to cards and I'm going to set this to list. So pretty much basically like grids, now it has full uh, full horizontal width versus basically being pushed up against the other content. And of course, I can always go back to here and say, right now, the width of the repeater is 90%. I can set this to 100. I can do whatever I wish. And of course, it does not change what we have on our desktop as what it is that we are changing only is applicable to the um, to the breakpoint that we're editing and down below. So as you can see, it also changes our settings for our mobile. Now of course we can go back and start changing some of our assets here. We're currently on the repeater. Um, let's say we'll give, let's get some margin back. So we're gonna basically left and right spacing. So I'm basically gonna set the width of the repeater to 90%. So this is how we basically make this responsive. So now that when we are scaling our site here, our container will keep to this format. So we're here, stacked, 90% width, tablet, we have 100% width, we can also go back in here just in case if we really want to have that margin back in there or that uh, spacing on the left and right side. We'll set this back to 90 and make sure that this is centered in our container and we have, you know, back here, we have a good enough amount of space. And of course, if I wanted to, let's say maybe I wanted the images to be a little bit larger, I can go to, um, you know, or even if I wanted to set up other items, maybe I wanted to add another uh, another card thing, uh, another card in, I can go ahead and do that here. But I would also have to make sure that I actually create another item. But regardless of that, that is essentially the items you need to know in order to edit and make your repeater responsive. There's a few more other options that we essentially won't go over now, but the basic ones that I use are cards and lists and using them interchangeably when I, uh, based on the outcome and the type of look that I'm going for. So I hope that's helpful and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if this video was helpful. And until then, uh, I hope you guys enjoy our Editor X daily creative challenges on this channel. And if you haven't already, please join our Discord. And thank you so much. Bye.